Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Peasy Pharmacology. So, on last videos we've talked about uh, the difference between each class of antihypertensive drugs and on today's video we'll focus more about the clinical guidelines and how the drug treatment is managed. These guidelines divide them in four stages and that's what we are going to see today. So, uh, the first stage is when one patient is first diagnosed with hypertension will uh, be highly dependent on the age of the patient. So let's say we've got a patient which is younger than 55 years old. The first drug choice we'll choose is the ACE inhibitor. So for example, Prindopril. Then, as we've seen in last video, some patients, they may develop a dry cough or being intolerant to the AC inhibitor. So, if that happens, the doctor can change it to a ARB, angiotensin receptor blocker. Now, let's see another scenario. We've got a newly, newly patient with hypertension, which is older than 55 years old. In that case, we'll choose instead a calcium channel blocker to start with. So, something like a modipin, for example. But some patients, they can develop a peripheral oedema with this. They can develop uh, swollen ankles, and if that happens, the doctor might uh, change it for a thiazide uh, like thioretic instead. So something like bendroflum thiazide. So that's the first stage. But let's assume this one drug choice was not enough to um, control their hypertension. So the... the we'll jump to the second stage and the stage 2 will have two hypertensive drugs prescribed so we will have a AC inhibitor or ARB plus a calcium channel blocker or a thiazide like diuretic so we'll have a combination of two drugs then again if this is not enough to uh, drop the uh, blood pressure then we'll jump to the stage 3 in the stage 3 we'll have three antihypertensive drugs. We'll have an AC inhibitor or ARB, we'll have also a calcium channel blocker and we'll have also a thiazide like diuretic. This is normally enough to control most of the uh, patients uh, suffering with hypertension. However, there is a smaller amount of patients uh, which have uh, resistant hypertension. So that means these three drugs are not enough to control it, so we'll have to add a fourth drug. So this fourth drug uh, added can be low dose of spiralactone or give them, for example, an alpha blocker, something like doxazuzin, or even a beta blocker. Uh, it might make sense for patients that suffer from um, heart uh, problem. Or there is another option which is increase the thiazide like diuretic dose. So that's pretty much it uh, in terms of the NICE guidelines. This video is just a complement to the Easy Peasy Pharmacology Hypertension uh, book that I wrote. There is a paperback and also a ebook version of it on Amazon and the ebook version on Kindle, uh, so I will leave the links down below in case you want to have a look at it. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it, bye!